the voice of Fairvale, Ohio. The weather is looking good for the next weekend when our very own Fairvale Falcons hope to cap off their miraculous season. It's 11 and oh my, thanks to the highest rated offense in state high school history. Our first state championship could be just around the corner, folks. Let's hope our Falcons can keep on flying high. Come on, boys! Lionel, let's see a little energy out there. You heard Coach Lionel. You've been missing blocks all day long. You gotta bust a hole so Travis can blow through it. This team's dependent on you, so suck it up. Hey, are you listening to me, Lionel? Hey, Quinn. It's just a practice. Maybe Lionel needs a breather. You want a little back rub on the sidelines? In three days, we're playing for the Ohio Championships. Let's not blow it now. Power sweep right on three. Ready? Ready! What's up, Doug? You all right? Lionel. Lionel, are you okay? Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Kate Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them. I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. Train 19, Century 11. Where the good river runs north, young fortunes are reversed in mock battle. Enslavement takes myriad forms, but the key to them all is control. The Ohio River runs north in the eastern border of the state. Jimmy to run the post, and Carl on the straight fly! In the Iroquois language, Ohio means good river. Could high school football be the mock battle of which Nostradamus speaks? If so, the Fairville Falcons have thrilled the state as they've reversed their fortunes. They're 11-0. An amazing turnaround for a team that's been in last place for nine years running. Some would say that every dog has his day. But I've learned that the alien race known as the Gual will stop at nothing in their experiments to enslave humanity. I've also learned that in war, the best defense is a good offense. Looks like you got yourself a bunch of all-stars, coach. Howl, Glad Howl. Not now. Wow. Maybe we can talk about the Cal U program another time. Oh, hey. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I just. <laughs> Focusing on my boys. Lloyd Jenkins. Welcome to Fairvale. Thanks. Falcons lost 72 games in the past nine years. What accounts for the turnaround? Two words Quinton Billup. Quarterback. Don't play coy with me, Clyde. He's the one you and everybody else are interested in. That boy's arm was kissed by the Lord above. Where did Quentin come from? Heaven, as far as I'm concerned. It says on the roster that this is his first year on the squad. His folks moved here from Idaho. He played some high school back there. All I know is, kid's a superstar. He's raised the level of everybody on this team. Coach, if you don't mind, I'd like to talk to Quentin when practice is done. Oh, sure. Just don't get him thinking about beaches and girls in bikinis, okay? He's got to stay focused on winning the championship. These kids are pretty fierce competitors. Damn right. Hey, 
I don't know how you're fixed for running backs, but you might want to take a serious look at Trevor. He's rushed for over a thousand yards this season. If Quinton's the heart and soul of this offense, then he's the guts. He was supposed to cut left. Who's running the ball? You or me? Teamwork, man. Don't fight it. That was a 15-yard gain, and they're arguing about not scoring a touchdown. <laughs> Makes the coach proud. Good run, Trevor! Okay, that's it for today. Good work. Good work, everybody. Just a reminder that this week's volleyball interview will be Tuesdays and Thursdays. Trevor. Clyde Howell. I'm a recruiter for Cal U. Well, it's nice to meet you, but you're talking to the wrong guy. Quentin's still in the locker room. Well, actually, I wanted to talk to you. Coach Jenkins had a lot of nice things to say about your abilities. Coach is my dad. Oh. Yeah. Look, I'm not Division I material. Well, hey, look, it takes more than one player to make a team. I'm interested in the reasons for your team's turnaround. You're one of those reasons. I'm not the reason for the turnaround. Neither is Quentin. What do you mean? I don't know. Uh, we're just better, I guess. Well, I get the feeling there's more to it than that. Look. I'm just rattled, that's all. Lionel, our right guard, freaked out in practice. Knocked people down, went crazy, and then passed out. They say he's in a coma. I'm sorry to hear that. They have any explanation why? Doctor says it was a bee sting. Is he allergic? That's what the doctor says. But last summer we went fishing, and Big Old Lionel tripped over this beehive. <laughs> he must have been stung 20 times. He yelled his head off, but that was it. He's no more allergic to bees than I am. They got a new quarterback. I saw him in action. The kid's got an amazing arm. What are you saying, Foster? E.T. playing QB? We got ourselves an alien signal caller? No, no, I haven't spoken to Quinn yet. Now, well, if you ask me, you're barking up the wrong goalpost. I mean, why would the Gua want to concern themselves with high school football? Don't know that either. I spoke to one of the players. His name's Trevor. I get the feeling that somebody's bothering him. Like what? He said his friend Lionel went berserk at practice after being stunned by a bee. Now the kid's in a coma. Well, sounds like anaphylactic shock. Now, if you're severely allergic to bee stings, it's not uncommon. Well, according to Trevor, Lionel's not allergic to bees. Well, maybe Lionel's using performance-enhancing drugs like steroids. You know, that would explain the violent reaction. I'll check it out. What's your locale? When U.S. 40 in Western Pennsylvania. What the hell are you doing in Pennsylvania? I've been investigating this quatrain that talks about coal mining. I can't make a connection with anything weird, so uh, how about if I swing into Ohio and uh, catch up with you in the morning? Sounds good, Eddie. Give me a ring. Just slip that right in here, Trevor. Yes, ma'am. So what happened to you in practice today, Trevor? Hmm? Sure isn't normal for you to miss a signal like that. I just uh, lost my concentration. Oh. Well, you need to focus, Trevor. You're a big part of this team and everybody's counting on you. Yeah, I know that. Well, I'm this team's number one fan. And you wouldn't want to let me down now, would you? No, ma'am. Because I'm counting on that state championship. I know you're worried about Lionel, but he's gonna be okay. By the way, Trevor, there was this man talking to Coach. Do you know who he is? He's a recruiter from Cal U. Really? Isn't that interesting? All the more reason for your boys to bring home that trophy on Saturday, huh?
Who are you? Hey, Quentin, right? I saw you on the field. Clyde Howell. Recruited for Cal U. Oh, pleased to meet you. I just came to check on Lionel. Yeah, it's pretty strange, huh? <laughs> Could have thought a little OB could take down a 230-pound guard. Well, you have to do a little more scrambling on Saturday, but you got a heck of an arm. Thank you, sir. You know, Cal U's always been one of my favorite... What are you doing here? I told you, recruiting. I mean here in Lionel's room. Lionel's on our list of lineman prospects. I wasn't aware his condition was so serious. Schools, good old Cal U. You know, I like the passing offense, I like the sunshine. Where are you from, Quinn? I heard this is your first year on the team. Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Family moved here last winter. You play any organized ball up there? Yeah, don't, uh, don't pay attention to those stats. I had a lousy year. This year, my quarterback rating's up 80%. I gotta check all the stats, son. I'm a whole lot better this year. On off-season conditioning, new offense. Mr. Howell, you report back to those coaches at Cal U. I had a lousy junior year. It'll kill my chances. Can't you focus on the positive? I tell you what. Forget about Idaho. I'll concentrate on what you've done here at Fairvale. Thanks, Mr. Howell. Thanks a million. local lab to do a chemical breakdown of that ice stuff you got from Lionel. The results are being sent to a buddy of mine at MIT. How long is it going to take to hear some? A couple hours. <laughs> when Quentin came into Lionel's room at the hospital, Lionel's brainwaves went off the chart. It was weird. Maybe they got some sort of telepathic connection. I don't know. I think the Guar are doing some kind of mind control experiment, linking the minds of these kids. Well, for what purpose? Well, if you were trying to take over a hostile population, wouldn't it be easier to control them through the mind rather than brute force? Yeah, of course. Football team would be the perfect proving ground to see if humans can work in sync. You think the quarterback's an alien? That's what I need to find out. Go deep, Eddie! Go deep! <laughs> nice hands. Five, 26! Five, 26! Set! Hunt, hunt, hunt! <laughs> nice run. Morning, Clyde. Back for another look? That's right. You're not alone. Okay! Let's see some defense! Remember! Come on, zone guys. coverage! Think of that one. Real nice. I let Quinton do it for a gag. Just to show off for you big time scouts who think you've seen it all. What do you mean? <laughs> That's our Z post with the lights out. Very impressive. Teamwork. We run like a Swiss watch. You don't mind me asking, Coach, what happened to your right guard, Lionel Goomer? Well, the doc says it was a fluke accident. Is it possible Lionel was taking performance-enhancing drugs? Lionel never touched a drug in his life. None of the boys have. Why can't anyone accept that we turn things around through effort and hard work? Sorry. 
It's just a question I had to ask. Hey, uh, I noticed you talking to my boy yesterday. Trevor, he's a good kid. I know, he doesn't have all the physical skills you want in a back, but... There's a kid who was up at 5 a.m. every day of the off-season to train. Strong work ethic. You need players like that on a team. They have that, uh... I guess every father wishes his son was the best. You got a good kid, coach. You should be thankful for that. Trevor! You got a minute? Sure. I'm trying to find out how a team goes from perennial loser to a championship contender in a single year. My first guess would be steroids or some other drug. But Lionel's medical records and your father's word have me pretty much convinced that that isn't the case. No one on this team uses steroids. Really? Yeah. They sure walk around like they're on downers. I've watched a lot of teams in my day. My gut tells me there's something strange about this one. I can't help you, man. I saw Lionel yesterday. Why? Because I'm figuring what happened to Lionel could have something to do with the Falcons' sudden success. Listen, you suspect anything weird going on, I'd like to hear about it. Lionel's life could depend on it. Yeah. There is something. When I'm running a play, I know exactly where my blocks are going to be before I even get there. It's like something tells me, cut this way, then that. And every other kid is perfectly synchronized. Like a Swiss watch. Yeah. It's the same with the passes. I can cut 15 yards on the down and out. And the ball, it's just there. I don't even have to look at the playbook anymore. I just know where to go. So do the other guys. I like that we're winning. But this... This isn't natural. This all started when Quentin joined the team. No. No, we sucked all through preseason, too. Even Quentin was just... okay. Can you think of anything that happened to cause it to run? Maybe it's just our year. Charlene Fay. Fairvale Falcons number one fan? Clyde Howell, I'm a recruiter for... Cal U. Not much goes on with this team that I don't know about. Hmm? <laughs> well, they're lucky to have such loyal supporters. Thank you. So, what do you think of our boys, hmm? Pretty impressive in practice. I'm looking forward to seeing them in a game situation. We will not be disappointed. They just keep getting better and better with every game. Couldn't have been too many years since you played ball yourself. Almost ten. Hard to believe. Well, I'll say. So was, uh, Clyde Howell a big star at Cal U? Me? No, no. The knees weren't built for the gridiron. Ten years back, huh? So you must have played ball with, uh, oh, what was his name? It was Chuck Nieder. He was a great ball player, Oh, huh? yeah, yeah. And a real nice guy, too. Yeah. So you really know your college ball. Honey, I was the first person my block about a TV set with picture in picture, just so I wouldn't miss a tackle. <laughs> I don't know. There's just something about football that brings me to my knees. Whoa, hero, it's...
it's just a little bee. Hey, Quentin. Hey, Mr. Howell, how you doing? Just wonder if I ask you a few questions. Yeah. Excuse me, girls, I'll uh, have to talk to you later. What's your game, man? Hey? You're no recruiter. Hey, Quentin, what's going on, man? You're bogus. <laughs> Time you left town. You certainly kicked your butt like a championship team. How the hell did your cover get blown? I don't know. It was like something came over them. Like they were in a trance. Well, I might have an explanation. Got the results from my buddy at MIT. That stuff in Lionel's eye was melatonin. It's a primary chemical compound in bee venom. Well, that would explain the doctor's diagnosis that he was stung by a bee. Yeah, exactly. I've been doing some research about bees. They don't sleep. They can see ultraviolet light. Each of them has their own particular job. And the hive serves the queen, right? But if the queen gets wounded or disabled, the bees turn on her. How do they communicate? By movements, vibrations. Nobody's cracked the code yet, but they can communicate with each other up to 100 yards apart, telling each other exactly what to do, where to go. Eddie, maybe that's it. That's how the players know each other's movements on the field. They communicate like bees. Yeah, but if that's the case, then something's got to be synchronizing the neurotransmitters in the brain, you know, turning the synapses on or off. The synthetic bee venom? It could be, but... Lionel was definitely poisoned by the melatonin. And it was like an overdose. So what are you saying? A lot will kill you, but a little might open up some kind of communication channel? <laughs> I don't know, man. This stuff is freaky. What do the quatrains say? Enslavement takes myriad forms, but the key to them all is control. Yeah? To control a hive, you need a queen bee, right? Yes. I think I know who that is. Hey, Trevor, I want to talk to you. Hey! What the hell are you doing, man? Lay off me! I want to know what's going on here, Trevor. Look, I didn't mean to hit you. I couldn't stop myself. That's the only way I know how to put it. I know. I know you had to do it. And I think I know why. I'm listening. There's a chemical in your system. You and everyone else on the team, including Lionel. I told you already, man. Nobody on the team was doing drugs. Maybe not knowingly. That feeling you get? That all of you are in sync when you're playing? I think it's linked to this. Look, I gotta go. I don't want to know about Shirley and Faye. What about her? She's new in town, isn't she? She moved here about a year ago. Tell me more about her. What's to know? She's a booster, and she comes to the games and practices. Where does she live? How should I know? Does she have a job? Oh, come on! Hey, listen! There are lives at stake here. She has a little tattoo parlor down on Central and Oak. That's where we got our tattoos. Trevor, get the hell away from him. Mister, you better get your ass out of Fairvale now. Hey, listen. No, you listen. I called California U. And there is a Clyde Howell, but he's got about 20 years and 100 pounds on you. So I'm going to call the sheriff. And if you know what's good for you, you'll be long gone before he gets you. In the house. Let's go. I'm not arguing, Shirley. You're questioning what's best. I like that Kel you guy. Mm -hmm. I just want to know why you had us beat him up. I told you. He's not a recruiter. Mm. Lionel's in the hospital. Trevor's starting to act up. It won't be long before people start asking questions. Trevor's a stubborn boy. Always going his own way. But I'll bring him around. Don't you worry. Get it. 
How do you do this? How do you tell us what to do? Oh, that's my little secret. You just worry about winning that game on Saturday. Sheriff, I can explain. Driver's license, please. Clyde Howell. That's right. You got a lot of nerve, mister. Coming to this town, calling yourself a recruiter, and not even considering. Boomer. Boomer? Yeah, Boomer. My son. The heart and soul of the Falcon Secondary. Oh, oh yeah. Boomer. Free safety. You got it. He's terrific, your boy. A lot of talent. I'm taking a real close look at him. He's definitely Cal U material. Well, I'm glad to hear that. We'll see you at the game tomorrow then, huh? Absolutely. Oh, one more thing. See that stop sign back there? That ain't just a suggestion, all right? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> You've been bad, Mr. Howell. Talking to my boys, getting them all stirred up. I'm a recruiter. It's my job to ask questions. No, we're not going to continue with that little charade, are we? Hmm? Why don't you tell me what you're really doing here? I told you I'm a recruiter. Sure you are. Just like you said you know Chuck Neater? There isn't any Chuck Neater. I know about Melaton. I know about that. And how you're controlling the players. I'm linked to them. They're linked to me. All I gotta do is focus on one player or another and voila. They follow my commands. How do you administer? The tattoos? <sighs> yes. It's in the ink. 
absorbed into their system, working on a time release. It's quite effective. Except in Trevor's case. Well, some people aren't as prone to falling into line. But I'm sure I'll be able to persuade him. And when I do, my little team will be complete. The parameters of the experiment will have been fulfilled. And we can move on to bigger and better teams. The army, for instance. What's going on? You all right? Stung. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Calm down, okay? I'm coming to get you. Where are you? Fine. Come on, you got to tell me where you are. Welcome. Five. Foster. Hey. Hey. Let's make practice count, fellas. After today, it's the real thing. It's time, son. Why aren't you ready? Because I'm not playing. The hell you're not. This is the last practice before the big game. Dad. There's something really weird going on with this team. We're being controlled in a way that I don't even understand. What are you talking about? You're so wrapped up in this stupid championship, you can't even see it. Always got to be the renegade. You can't ever accept what other people want, even when it's good. You just can't see the big picture. Me? Are we talking about your state championship? Your trophy? What about your future? Wake up, Trevor. This is what you've always wanted. No, this is what you have always wanted. <laughs> All right. All right. Forget about what I want. What about this town? Do you want to take away their pride? What about your teammates? Do you want to just want to wipe out everything they've busted their humps all season for? What about Lionel's family? Don't you think it might ease their pain just a little? To know that their son contributed to this team's first ever championship. A lot of people are depending on you, son. It's time to get with the program. Why'd you couldn't give me a pill? What'd you stab me with, Eddie? Uh, it's a little cocktail I made up. Adrenaline and a histamine. The last of my lithium. <sighs> so weird. All I could hear was white noise. I couldn't move. I couldn't see. It's anaphylactic shock. That's why I included the lithium. It stops the synapses from overloading. <sighs> Mr. Howie, you're, you're Queen Bee. <sighs> Did some kind of stinger in her finger. The aliens are crossbreeding their DNA with insects. Wow. What's next, lawyers? This team's our hive. She said once they bring Trevor on site, our team's complete. How much more of that stuff you got left? Not much. Why? Well, we disable the queen bee, then the bees will turn against her. That's what you said, right? Yeah, but the concoction's for the stingy and not the stinger. What well, works against the bees? Uh, Perethrin, for one. It's 100% biodegradable insecticide. Uh, it's taken from the chrysanthemum plant. It's uh, usually stored in an alcohol solution. It's got a knockdown effect. It uh, paralyzes the nervous system. Where can we get our hands on that fast? Hardware store?
What are you doing here? Aren't you happy to see me, Jeff? Yes, ma'am. But this is the guy's locker room. Kind of naughty, isn't it? <laughs> if anyone asks, I'm going to say you invited me. So why aren't you on that field, Trevor? Don't you want to play? No. Not, not really, ma'am. Not today. But you're such a big part of the team, Trevor. I don't know. Uh, I got a lot on my mind. Don't you worry, honey. I'm gonna make all your troubles go away. You think spraying her with that thing's gonna do the trick? Yeah, I'm assuming she'll react to the salt solution I whipped up in here. Which may be part B. She's still an alien. Just itching to pull this trigger. Easy there, Clint. We don't want to kill her. She's the evidence we need. You see Charlene? No. I don't see Trevor either. Wait here, I'm gonna go check the locker room. Trevor? Your life is in danger. You gotta let me help you. I thought you were dead. Guess I didn't make my point. is complete, Mr. Howe. Trevor, remember what happened to Lionel? I'm afraid we don't need you. Trevor, you gotta think for yourself. Hut! Hut! Don't give in. Think for yourself. Hut!
Trevor. Oh, hey, Mr. Howe. Are you coming to the game? No, I got to, uh, I got to leave town. I just wanted to wish you luck. I don't know if we stand much of a chance out there. Well, you never know. Twelve weeks of perfect football might have rubbed off. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. That's for sure. I'm never going to forget what happened here. Thank you. Thanks for everything. You bet. And hey, Trevor, don't... Don't let anyone push you around, huh? I won't. Come on, Lionel. Let's show them what we got. Fairvale, Ohio. A good town with good people. Like Trevor Jenkins. Had the Guaz experiment succeeded, their plans to create a hive collective would have extended far beyond Fairvale's city limits. So the game started. Here's the kickoff. Falcons receiving. Number 23, Bob Brookin gets the ball. Good block there by Lionel Groomer. Brookin passes the 50. And, oh no! He's fumbled the ball. The Bulldogs are covered. Number 44 has it. He's running. That's the 40. The 30. He's in the clear. He's got touchdown! Fairville is now six points in the opening play. Unbelievable. If we have any hope of defeating the Gua, it rests with those who don't blindly follow where they're led. Trevor reaffirms my belief that one individual can make a difference. Get enough of those individuals on our team. And maybe we can win the war ahead. <laughs> <laughs>